I bought this bike on eBay. It's an IKEA folding bike made by Rally. Folds up fine, folds in the center there. Uh, the saddle comes right down as it is now with a quick release, and it's got a quick release here on the handlebars. You open that up, let that down, and the handlebars roll over. But because that clamp there is at a stupid angle, the handlebars can only go over this far and then they get stuck, so it doesn't really fold up. So what needs to happen is, like all the modern uh, Bromptons and, and all the other Dehons and all those, this hinge here, this hinge pin is set at a different angle, so when the handlebars fold over, they fold down against the wheel. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to slice this tube here and replace it with this little piece of bicycle seat post from a different bike and then rotate the hinge point by whatever angle it takes and then I can put a similar groove to that and put a clamp on each end just to clamp it back together. I've already taken off the brake handle which is down there on the floor and the rubber grip. Just slid them off. I'm going to do this 13 mil nut under here. I've done that already and then this handlebar slides out like that. I can just set that down on the ground. Inside here, when you lift that back, it pulls back this pin and that hinge opens up. And just back in here is a 6mm Allen key. So you loosen that and it comes up a little bit and then you either push it down with your finger or if it's tight, hit it with a hammer. And that allows this stem locking mechanism here to come out. So I'll go to the vise and saw it in half. So I've got the stem in the vise. Put a little bit of tape around it just to keep me on track when I'm sawing it. So it's cut in half and I'll just file it up. Just to remove the burr. I have the tube, it's off a kid's bike. I've cut the same pattern into the other end with a hacksaw and a drill. Hopefully it will slide on and it does. It's quite loose there, so I'm hoping when it clamps up it'll be okay. So I've got the clamp on it. That's the little groove there lined up. So that it doesn't interfere with this cam locking mechanism. I've got the nut and bolt on this side. We'll test how that works once I've locked it up. So this is how the finished article looks. This bit down here, it's in the vice, goes into the steering of the bicycle, then there's the hinge, then I've got this adjustment piece here, and then up to the handlebars. So I have to put it into the bike to try and find the angle that this needs to be aligned at. I have it all assembled again. Still, it's still loose, I need to tighten it all up. But that's how it looks. There's the handlebars, clamp, a bit of pipe, another clamp, and then the hinge. The hinge has got its hinge pin on this side here where my finger is, so that falls over uh, to, to that side of the bike. So if I loosen this and pull that down, that will let the handlebars flip back. So then they flip back like this and align now in parallel with the with the wheel. It's pretty neat really compared to compared to the way it was. I've painted the little joining piece black and I've reassembled it so the next job is just to stick it onto the bicycle. So here it is, the new connecting bit. Not much to see really, except what it does. So if I slacken off that cam there, drop it down, handlebars can rotate. And that's it, it goes in very, very neat like that.